Uh, it's been one year of war in Ukraine and there has been multiple uh, tragedies, uh, millions have been displaced uh, and the war is still going on. That's the irony uh, of this, this time that uh, even after one year the war is still going on. We are joined by uh, Charles Affairs of Ukrainian Embassy in Delhi and uh, sir, how do you see this one year of war? Uh, how, I'm sure it has done a lot of damage to Ukrainian people, economy, uh, everything and uh, what is the situation right now if you could tell us? Definitely, uh, we are living now in a very, in a very difficult time of war. Uh, you are uh, all world uh, may be aware that uh, war is still going on, and we, as of now, we do not see, do not see the end. It is difficult. Uh, it is difficult to to understand uh, when during the 21st century when the all civilized world and society living their life peacefully uh, uh, according to the international law and uh, following to the UN chapters we have such kind and terrible disaster uh, we are getting uh, Ukrainian cities uh, are getting quite a lot of uh, damages because of every day every day uh, Russian Air missile striking, bombing and bombardment. Uh, definitely, our brave, brave soldiers uh, are liberating the occupied territory step by step, and I think so that uh, we will, we will be very close to our win, and hope that 2023 will be the winning year. Will be the year of the democracy dedicated to the uh, values of democracy and freedom. That's why our na nation, our Ukrainian national, they are fighting for their freedom and democracy because this is a priceless for, for our country. India has been uh, you know, in contact with Russian side also, uh, Ukrainian side also. We heard that just uh, National Security Advisor Ajit Dewal had a talk with his Ukrainian counterpart. Uh, how do you see India's role in this whole uh, war or in this strike? Uh, because India is also holding G20 presidency and uh, there will be summit level talks also when the world leaders will be coming and discussing various issues. So, uh, how do you see India's role in bringing down this tension? Or, or, you know, uh, for Ukraine, definitely. Ukraine considers India the, the main partner in the global south. Ukraine, uh, Ukraine uh, considers India a friend. Uh, Ukraine counts on India's support. Definitely, this is a very big window of opportunity uh, because of India has a new G20 presidency in uh, ongoing year. We hope that the all uh, events in the framework of the India's presidency in G20 uh, will have some dedicated topic to Ukraine and uh, also uh, Ukraine definitely wants to be uh, present there because we are following the principle uh, talking about Ukraine without Ukraine it is it is not possible we would like to be present and definitely definitely uh, we also uh, count on India's uh, support uh, uh, of uh, the peace formula announced by our president and uh, have you reached out to India on this uh, United Nations resolution of Definitely, we hope so that India uh, will support the Ukrainian resolution, uh, which uh, was initiated today, and the voting will be will take place tomorrow. Uh, we hope so that India will support Ukraine uh, in the endeavor to win and and to to realize the principle of freedom and democracy. Will you see any uh, participation of Ukrainian side during multiple events of G20? As of now, it is uh, under the consideration, but we requested uh, Indian side to provide us with an invitation. Thank you, sir. Thank you for talking to us. India's premier English news channel, CNN News 18, stands tall in the news ecosystem. This is the government school on the Cotton Pet Main Road where you can see infrastructure is completely damaged. It is not even clean. An institution of courage. In this hospital in Bhagalpur, the pharmacist's brother is dispensing medicines without even asking for a prescription. Class and credibility. India's most striking primetime panel on English News TV. News. 
is about stories that believes in intelligent news dissemination. India's most sought after newsmakers prefer CNN News 18 Podium, a testament of trust in the incredible news institution. When there are elections in a country and they give you results you don't like, you call them electoral autocracy. A new grammar in news television that has positively disrupted the ecosystem, ushering in a new era of news broadcasting. Reservation fight has once again erupted on the street. After the cleanup of the rating system, the true TRP statistics have spoken. And how? CNN News 18 is also revolutionizing the news space by becoming the first channel to carve out an integrated news ecosystem that is exploding in the digital world. Unprecedented TRP run on television, staggering viewership lead on YouTube, and a phenomenal surge on Facebook stamps CNN News 18's dominance in the digital news universe. CNN News 18 promises India that its passionate team is all set to transform India's news landscape with utmost integrity and quest for constant innovation.